This is pre-calculus concept 32a. We're going to look at the double angle formulas today. And there are five boxes to this lesson. Uh, basically, we've got three new formulas to add to our trig identity list. And these are called the double angle formulas. Uh, real quickly, sine of 2 theta equals 2 sine theta cosine theta. Cosine 2 theta equals cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta and tangent of 2 theta equals 2 tangent theta over 1 minus tangent squared theta. So just like before, your primary responsibility isn't going to be to memorize these, but rather um, know when and how to use them. Uh, let's look at one quick derivation, though, because these formulas start to be related to each other. So we're going to talk briefly here about where the sine 2 theta form formula comes from. So it turns out that we can figure out the sine of 2 theta by thinking of that angle as the sum of two angles. And in this case, if I want to get twice theta, I would simply add theta to itself. And this is a formula that you know from the last section. So this is really the sine of a sum in this case, the A angle alpha and the B angle beta are actually the same angle. So when I use my formula, I can just replace those with thetas, right? So I have sine of the first angle, which is theta, times the cosine of the second angle, which is theta, plus the cosine of the first angle, which is theta, times the sine of the second angle, which is theta. So while I'm thinking of the first angle and the second angle as two different angles, they're actually all the theta angle, and you can see that this leads to two like terms, which are sine theta and cosine theta, and so that is the first of our three formulas. So we're going to have you guys try to derive the second one. So number three, Think of tangent of 2 theta as tangent of theta plus theta. Use your tangent of a sum formula and see if you can derive the double angle formula for tangent. All right, so again, thinking of uh, our tangent sum formula, usually we have different angles, alpha and beta. In this case, both alpha and beta are the same angle. And so we're going to just use our formula with... Uh, this as kind of our first angle, and this as our second angle. Uh, we get this, which simplifies to our double angle formula. So if you did have to memorize these formulas, uh, this might be a useful trick in deriving pretty quickly um, any of the double angle formulas. All right, here's a example, a typical example you might see where um, you're given a trig value and asked to find other trig values of not the angle given, but the maybe twice the angle given. So let's read this carefully. It says that um, we're going to look at an angle theta. It's going to be in the second quadrant. And then the sine of theta is 5 thirteenths. So hopefully you remember from previous problems that a really good way to think about this one is to draw a picture of an angle that fits that description. So I'm going to draw a second quadrant angle. I don't know the size of that angle, turns out I don't need to, but what I do know is that the sine ratio is 5 thirteenths. Um, when I think about the third side of this triangle, I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem and it's going to end up being 12, and because it's in the second quadrant, I would actually want to think about that as a negative amount, so here would be my axes, and I'd be thinking about that in the second quadrant, the x-coordinate is definitely going to be negative. All right, let's look at our three examples. If I want to find the sine of twice the angle in that picture, I have a formula for that. It's 2 sine theta cosine theta. And so if I know these individually, I can actually come up with a final answer. So the sine of theta was given in the problem as 5 thirteenths. The cosine of theta I can get from my picture is negative 12 thirteenths. So when I multiply all that out, 2 times 5 times 12 is negative 120. And on the bottom, I'm going to get 169. That turns out to be my answer. 
Um, negative might seem kind of strange, but if you think about a second quadrant angle and you doubled it, it would most likely end up in the fourth quadrant, and the sine in the fourth quadrant is in fact negative. All right, here's our second one. Uh, cosine of 2 theta, we have a formula for that now. Cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. Uh, the cosine in my picture is negative 12 thirteenths. My sine, I'm going to square that. My sine is 5 thirteenths. I'm going to square that. And when I work those out, I get 144 over 169 minus um, 25 over 169. Uh, that answer ends up being 119 over 169. Okay, That one ends up being positive. Again, if you think about a second quadrant angle being doubled, it would end up in the fourth quadrant, and the cosine of an angle in the fourth quadrant ends up being positive. All right, I have a formula for tangent 2 theta as well, but I'm going to use a little shortcut here because I know that the tangent of 2 theta is simply the sine of 2 theta over the cosine of 2 theta. And if I know those individually, which I do, negative 120 over 69, 169, and 119 over 169, that I can get my answer that way, which is 120 over 119. And just to show that I could also get that same answer by using the formula, uh, the formula says 2 tangent theta over 1 minus tangent squared theta. And so for my picture, the tangent is negative 5 twelfths. So I'd have 2 over negative 5 twelfths, sorry, 2 times negative 5 twelfths, over 1 minus 25 1 fourths. And we'd have to do a little work with this um, to get our answer, but I basically have um, negative 5 sixths on the top. And on the bottom, I would have um, 119 over 144. If you were to simplify, work that out. And if I inverted and multiplied, I'm going to kind of run out of room here. I'd get negative 5 6 times 144 over 119. And 6 goes into 144. Uh, let's see, it's going to be 24 times, and 5 times 24 is negative 120 over 119. Um, you can see that using that sine cosine relationship makes uh, answering part C quite a bit easier. All right, let's have you do a U try. Um, I'm going to give you an angle also in the second quadrant. Um, with the knowledge that the sine of that angle is four-fifths, can you tell me what the cosine of twice the angle would be? Okay, hopefully you pulled up your double angle formula for cosine and drew a little picture of what the angle given would look like. Remember, it's a second quadrant angle, and the lengths would be negative three, four, and five. And when you uh, figure out the sine and cosine values, plug them into the formula, work it all out, you should have gotten negative 7 25ths.